Everyone knows the benefits of having a space program. The work of NASA adds $200 billion to the US economy. It's a tremendous driver for technological development. Australia doesn't have a space program, and there are risks associated with that. We get our Earth observation data from friendly countries. But financial problems in the US and the EU mean most of our friends' planned new satellites aren't getting off the ground, literally. So how will we access data critical to so many industries? Can we afford to be a freeloader any longer? Clearly, the answer is no. So why isn't Australia acting? Maybe it's the fear of great expense. That's so last century. The thing is, we can begin to build a viable space industry by starting off small. We can launch a series of CubeSats. These can be as small as one litre. A six litre CubeSat is big enough to carry a useful camera or other instruments and transfer data to Earth. It's possible for one of these 6U CubeSats, about the size of a shoebox, to do the same work as a microsatellite, which is the size of a washing machine. This shrinking in size saves significantly on costs. The fact that Australia is the only OECD country not to have a space agency puts us at risk of being left behind. We can secure our access to critical data from space. All we need now is the will.